Hello and welcome back to Games with Loafers. The game is Undertale and Loafers is me, Loafers, Barry, Ironic, Snap, Neenan, and Anna Cheroni. Yeah! Howdy. We're about to see a very sad story unfold. Um, here's the best track on the soundtrack. Yeah, this is banging shoot, all right. It's called Long Elevator. <sighs> I thought you were kidding, but you were kidding, but not in the way I expected. <coughs> Same. It's genuinely a good idea, in terms of pacing. Oh boy, here we go. Yep. This is giving me the hippity jeebies, and it's not it, as much as the first. Things aren't happening. I feel like things should be happening by now, right? Yeah. Oh, here, oh, here we, we go. go. Do, 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 get ready to get do, do, fucked up. Emotionally. That's the worst kind. Flowers. Oh, you didn't. More you can get flowers. it on the way back. Yeah. Oh, that's such a nice bedroom. There's a heart shaped locket inside the box. Oh. Why are you You're carrying too much. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Best right again. Despite everything, it's still you. Go into the bedroom. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm being dumb. I feel like we are going significantly slower than the music. It intends us on front pages. <laughs> nice day today. <laughs> it is still almost wet. What a guy. I'm glad he's guarding our galaxy. For King Dad. Oh, clothes drawer. There are robes, buttoned up shirts, and a pink Tanzanian sweater that says Mr. Tad Guy. But no socks. It's a trophy. Number one nuzzle. Those nuzzle champs. That's a callback. You meet the runners up near the start of the game. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Azriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Where did the music go? Uh, it, we took too long. Oh. And yeah, that's how it loops instead. I was wondering how I would deal with that. There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. It's a great reading chair. But it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. Over time, Azriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. And also, at least some dreams. That's not what I meant. Oh, it's in the bin. It's a trash can. It's full of crumbled up recipes for- oh, butterscotch pie. Everything about this house is depressing. Oh god, I- there's what? two chairs. By which I mean there's four chairs. <laughs> <laughs> but in the original, in Toriel's house, there's three, and here there's four. Uh oh. That's significant somehow. Well, the, the, I, I can't explain. <laughs> The, without giving big spoilers. Just to say, the sign said like, I'm out gardening, please do help yourself. <laughs> then, one day, the human became very ill. <laughs> the sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Asriel, wrecked with grief, absorbed the human's soul. 
he transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Azrael reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let this go, will give us hope, will save us all. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. That's the... That's that's the last room. Okay, so... Maybe... You might stop here and check a thing? Yes, absolutely. Check the thing that I think you're going to check. Yeah, okay, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, uh, you look up your thing. I'm doing so slowly. <laughs> I don't know which way I'm supposed to walk, so I'm just going to stay here. And jam to hotel. Undertale is a game. It has me... A skeleton. I'm the best. Very great. My brother is also good. If you want to talk about misapplies identity <laughs> politics, check this out. <laughs> I feel like that could could be applied to my life. Yeah. <laughs> It is pretty relatable. <laughs> Welcome back! We're in the last corridor. We're trying a thing. We're trying a silly thing. But first, a talk from our friendo. Ahem. Who could it possibly be? So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. What's XP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points, a way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP increases. 
When you have enough XP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence, a way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you've never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you were completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refused to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. <coughs> all righty. What now? Now, close the game. Oh. This might mess up the capture just a smidge, but we can get it going when we get it going. So how are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. I'm playing Undertale. Yeah, I know. I know the feeling. Okay, welcome back. We're doing the thing. We just we just reloaded the save and went through the same speech again. And now he's saying... Wait a second. That look on your face while I was talking. You've already heard my spiel, haven't you? I suspected something like this. You're always acting like you know what's going to happen. Like you've seen it all before. So... I have a request for you. I kind of have a secret code word that only I know. So I know if someone tells it to me, they'll have to be a time traveler. Crazy, right? Anyway, here it is. Whisper, whisper. I'm counting on you to come back here and tell me that. See you later. Nito! You heard the skelly man? Off we go! A shame you guys can't see my sweet Zootopia wallpaper. Unless, yeah, they, they can't. They can't. You were about to say, unless I edit it in and post, but then you didn't want to do that, so you stopped yourself. Smart. I, actually, I was thinking, unless the capture actually captures it, I suppose that's not how Fraps works. That is not how Fraps works. It's how Overwolf works. Oh, Overwolf sounds like my kind of thing. Like Overwatch, but with more wolves. <laughs> it's actually a piece of capture software. <laughs> eh. He, he's just going straight to staring at us. He's just going straight to Sans. Uh -oh. Huh? Do you have something to say to me? What? A code word? Can you speak a little louder? Did you just say, I'm a stupid doo doo butt? <laughs> wow. I can't believe you would say that. Not only is that completely infantile, but it's also my secret code word. <laughs> that, however, isn't good enough. What you need is the secret secret code word. In yellow font. It's only for people who know the secret code word. So, <laughs> me? Anyway, here it is. Whipsper, whipsper. Oh my god. I'm counting on you to come back here and tell me that. See you later. I can't deal with this. <laughs> Goodbye, Capture! <laughs> oh, boy. What are you going to put up that isn't Undertale? Um, I'm thinking of putting up a little screen that's like Games with Loafers podcast or something. Yeah. And like pictures of all of us. We should make a podcast hollering about how great we are. We should. Just kidding, I wouldn't listen to that, and I'm on it. I don't listen to lies. Just to be oh, clear... They're not lies. 
guys. That was just about me not being great. You two are great. I'm going to start a podcast about Barry B. Great. Ha ha! My secret plan has come to fruition. No! <laughs> okay, take four. Uh, is this the last one? Maybe. I think so. <laughs> the bells get faster because it wants to save time. Toby is good so to you this. finally made it. Huh? Do you have something to say to me? What? A code word? Can you speak a little louder? Did you... Did you just say I'm the legendary fart master? Wow. That's, uh, really childish. Why would you think that was a secret secret code word? Whoever told you that is a dirty liar. I don't have a secret secret code word. <laughs> However... He's up on the spot, probably. <laughs> oh, Sans. <laughs> I do have a secret, se uh, triple secret code, no. which you just said. Oh. So, I guess you're qualified. Here's the key to my room. It's time you learn the truth. <gasps> spooky. Sans is such a spooky. Let's go look at his room. Yeah. Welcome to the first episode of the Games with Loafers Cod... Pod... Pod... Cod... 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 <laughs> Where we passed all the cards. We talk about the cards of our respect. This is going to be a very long episode, but fuck it. You know, fuck it. The, de the next one, one of the episodes coming up is probably going to be the finale, and that's going to be, like, really long, so... Yeah, where you got the dancers in. Yeah. The fireworks show. We got, uh, we got a whole bunch of singers singing a Flintstones-themed version of Snow Halation from Love Life High School Idol. You say, you say these things as though they make sense. <laughs> I, I'm just stating a thing that happens on another channel. I'm just stating the facts. <laughs> hey, punk, what's up? As Papyrus, how can you stand to live in this cold? I have no skin. So why don't we stand in Grillby's instead? Because I hate grease. But you don't have a stomach. No, but I have standards. Uh, nothing about a letter. Yeah, she's too shy. <sighs> Go to the room. Go to the room. Go to the room. Oh boy. Go to the room. Do you want to lock the door and enter? Oh shit. Oh no. Did I fuck her up? This is. This is weird. <gasps> Oh boy. Oh. Keep moving north, I think. Oh. <laughs> hey, Sans, have you seen my. Oh, hello! You aren't Sans! Wait a second. Why were you using a treadmill in the dark? Is Sans pranking you across time and space? I hate it when he does that! How immature can you get? How many time travelers have they met? <laughs> Genuine question for game theory purposes. Also, have you seen my action figures? Wait, I know where to look. In my collection. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a genius all the time. It's a treadmill. There's a message attached. The truth is that you got owned, nerd. It appears to be a self-sustaining tornado made of trash. Amazing. <laughs> the effort. It's a worn mattress. The sheets are bunched up in a weird, creasy ball. I thought that was a brain. <laughs> it's a thank you letter. It's addressed to Santa. Oh. It's an uncovered pillow. It's a lamp. Turn it on. Yeah, sure. There's, There's no, no light bulb. bulb. A flashlight is stuck in the bulb socket. <laughs> Turn it on. Yes. The flashlight is out of batteries. <laughs> Amazing. Inside the drawer is a silver key. Ooh. Yeah, boy. Mm. Oh, I know what to do with this. Yeah, boy. Oh. Scandalous. Oh. <laughs> it's time to go to Santa's workshop. Oh, it's around the other side. I fucked nope. it up. I think it's that side. That's right. That's right. Come on. Yeah, it's... You have to go, you weren't quite up enough. Oh, okay. On the other side. Oh, 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 like on the, this far, on this? Yes. Okay. Undyne and Papyrus are wondering what the fuck you're doing. 
And that's saying something, because they're undying into pirates. You yeah. unlocked the door and entered. Aw, oh, shit, I've never been down here. There's, There's a photo album inside the drawer. Okay. We kind of fuzz each other off there. There are photos of Sands with a lot of people you don't recognize. The cast of Earthbound. The cast of fucking <laughs> Earthbound, apparently. He looks happy. He always looks happy. He's a skeleton. You look at the drawer. There's some kind of badge. A ZPD police badge. Game theory. Sands is Judy Hopps. <gasps> Blueprints. You can't read the symbols they're written in. Or maybe it's just the handwriting. Ambiguity. Strange machines. Try calling Papyrus. Not that I expect a response. Ah, oh, this music. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do Well, either you can't look at the last room. Wouldn't even show us. This raises more questions than anything. That just and raises further questions. And the only uh, satisfactory, the only, the only thing close to a satisfactory answer that we've got is that this game is a direct sequel to Earthbound. Which doesn't even make that much sense. Yeah. No, we just blew this case wide open. Sounds as Judy Hops. That's my head cannon. Don't want to disrespect my head cannon. Rose fucked a cat. Rose fucked a cat. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Did you come out of that door? No, I came out of the back and it teleported me to there. Oh, Jesus. Is it still there? Uh, because that doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, yeah, there. let's see that again. Yep, you came out of the front door. Amazing. I, I suppose it would be weird if it teleports you and if you, it starts you out of sight. Okay. Um, I think we should call it here for this unusually long episode of Games with Loafers. Because the, the, the game has been Undertale, the Lofers has been me, Lofers, the Lofers has also been very ironic, Snapping and Anna Choroni. See you next time. Bye. See, see you around, bud.